So amidst all the rumours and speculation surrounding Doctor Who, its status with Disney, its ratings being absolutely abysmal, its actor being barely committed to continuing and no one giving any indication on how long until the show will either get cancelled or continue to lurch on into the future as some kind of zombie version of the show, one man decided to state that Shooty Did You Know His Gaitois has indeed been fired from Doctor Who. That man was Mr. H Reviews, or Nate to some people, whose Doctor Who coverage is very similar to my own. I'd even go so far as to call myself a fan of his. So far be it for me to try to smear or discredit him. But God love you. You lot have been asking me to comment on it for days now, and apologies that I've been through it a bit last few dozen hours, and I'm only just able to kind of speak now for a little while. Big shame, really, because I just got this lovely shiny new mic, too. Oh, well, we will pick up the pace again. Uh, well, then, only one question remains, and that is, is Shooty Gatwa, or Dr. Mizero, indeed fired from Doctor Who? Well, I've been to various websites, looked up news feeds, trawled through the Tranoid feeds of X, and contacted a couple of people who might have still got some connections at the BBC and might have an idea, and I've got absolutely no bloody idea. No clue whatsoever. None. But you're welcome to hang out with me while I try and recap the story. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We're going to check out this story as it stands right now this story that came out of nowhere nate mr h is saying that someone told him shoot he's out it does line up with a few things like for example the fact that he's doing con appearances later this year and um usually that's not something that happens for doctors who are still actively playing the doctor it's usually more the remake of of uh Actors who have already left the show. Um, so there's that. I, I mean, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I've tried, but I don't know anything more than, than Mr. H does. Probably less, in fact, because it seems like somebody's talking to him. No one said anything to me, though. Um, but please feel free to get anyone you'd like to to contact me. I will be completely... Uh, um, prioritizing of things like discretion and um, anonymity if somebody does want to talk to me. But there you go. In the meantime, all I have is an article from Bleeding Fool because that's about the only source I can find that wasn't tr really just trying to smear and insult Mr. H. So screw that. Um, I don't have any reason to, to disbelieve that he would um, mean what he says. I don't think he would do this. Um, just to try and sow the seeds of chaos. Um, I, I really, this is a difficult video to do. But Bleeding Fool has a summary. And uh, quite a handy one, too. So we're going to go through it. Doctor Who Season 3 Mystery is Shooty Gatwa out as the 15th Doctor. Now, I prefer to call him Dr. Mizero these days because, of course, he has a reputation for crying in every single episode and it turns out that Mizero is his real name. So there's that. The latest revival of Doctor Who faces a very uncertain future after the first season divided fans and failed to meet viewership expectations despite Disney Plus giving the long-running sci-fi series a much-needed cash injection and a global audience. Returning showrunner Russell T. Davis aimed to draw uh, younger viewers to the show. I, yeah, I mean, what have I not said about this? You want to bring younger viewers to the show, do you, Russell? That's a good idea. How about you don't have a guy running around, importuning men, going into their spaceships and grinding to Kylie then? Because it's not very appropriate for children. What is wrong with people? Returning showrunner Russell T. Davis, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he uh, faced backlash for featuring a Rwandan, Scottish, openly gay, allegedly non-binary black actor, lead, and more than an ample amount of Lugabatka themes. Then a report in July suggested that the show could be cancelled after season two and Disney Plus might part ways with the BBC over the costly experiment. Well, I wouldn't blame them. 
I mean, it's cost him an arm and a leg just to get Bluey on there. <clears throat> I mean, but then Bluey is probably the most popular thing that they have on Disney Plus right now. So are they going to continue to be beholden to the BBC to continue making Doctor Who just to have a cartoon dog? Your guess is as good as mine. In a recent interview, Davis confirmed that Doctor Who had not been renewed for a third batch of episodes, stating it's an industry decision. It's like any business. These things take time. I think the decision will come after the transmission of season two. That's what we're expecting. That's what we've always been heading towards. Bullshit. Utter bullshit. We know from previous experience that when Doctor Who was at the height of its popularity, there was no question on whether or not we were going to get another series of it never was it's completely absurd even when david tennant announced he was leaving there was no question that doctor who would go on insane trying to gaslight your audience usually not a good sign russell then of course we get the really strange news the ambitious plans originally intended for doctor who have been scaled back with a spin-off titled the war between the land and the sea on the way but not generating much buzz if the spin-off fails it could seal the main show's fate why would you do that why would you diversify something like that just to double down spread yourself thinner and yet risk the main show like what is the goal here is it just to destroy doctor who is that what it is I genuinely don't know anyway um what i do know is uh one headline grabbing complaint during season one was regarding a gay romance between shooty gatma's 15th doctor and jonathan groff's rogue with some uk viewers arguing that the content was unsuitable for children it was it was extremely unsuitable for children i'm not going to show the picture I'm really tired of having to look at this, and now I'm going to have to look at this for the rest of the existence of Doctor Who. So the less I have to, the more control I have over having to stare at that, the better. <clears throat> they acknowledged, of course, also that the ratings were screwed. They might not be the ratings we'd love. We always want higher. Episode 1 is up to 5.6 million. Doesn't matter, Russell. Doesn't matter, Russell. All of the ratings that actually mattered were accumulated in the first weeks of them releasing. We know for a fact that nobody wanted to watch this crap. We know that it got the lowest ratings in series history. And I mean all of series history, including the Sylvester McCoy run and everything before that. Mental. I'm talking about the under 30s watching it. Yeah, well, you know what? Not anymore. Because if they were, you wouldn't be worrying. You would be announcing a third series. Well, let's get rid of that. I really genuinely ah, <laughs> don't want to show you that anymore. Uh, this is, of course, Mr. H's rumor um, video that he says that it looks like uh, Shooty Gat was been fired, apparently for having a series of arguments with Russell T. Davis. Now, I mean, um, I'm going to have to scroll back up now. Aren't I? There we go. I mean... Look, we all know what we know about the way that gay guys tend to behave, that relationships can last generations and they can also turn into bratty, catty spats. And when that starts, it's very often the case that uh, that will go the distance and the relationship will be over. So if Rusty Tin Dildo and Shooty Did You Know He's Gay to I Have decided to stop bumming and uh, start hating each other, that would be as good a reason as any for the show to be cancelled. But I don't know, guys. I don't know. I would love to talk to Mr. H if he'd like to contact me as well, or I'll contact him and say, like, where are you getting this from? Because if I can help, I would love to. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Will of the Fans for more news, reviews, commentary, and rebellion. If you'd like to see more of me, I'd like to see more of you. And I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans. Check out the Discord link below, and I'll chat to you next time. Enough is enough.